Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Today we're talking about some huge improvements for the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia. We're also talking about Dolphin MMJR2 as well as MAME. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with the best Xbox 360 emulator on PC and that will be Xenia. If you want to learn how to get up and running with Xenia, I've done a tutorial on it and I'll leave it in the description below. Now this update for Xenia is huge. It's all about graphics and they call it the presentation update. I'll also leave a link to this update in the description below in the event that you want to learn a whole heck of a lot more. Xenia goes into a ton of detail here and it's almost guaranteed you'll probably learn something. But keeping things at a really high level here, if you play Xbox 360 games on your computer and you want to kind of sharpen up the graphics a little bit without really sacrificing performance, well, this update is going to be right up your alley. Xenia has added in a bunch of post-processing effects, and these are huge. AMD FSR has been implemented, AMD CAS has been implemented, Nvidia FXAA has been implemented, and also dithering. So to sum these changes up at an even higher level here, basically if you're using an AMD or Nvidia graphics card and you want to improve your graphics without really sacrificing frame rate, Checking out these new post-processing effects is probably the way to go. You'll get a much clearer and smoother image overall. So let's do a quick comparison here of the before and after. And right now we're on the before, and I want you to pay attention to these grass blades, the ghost, and the warthog. And let's flip over to the after. And they're immediately smoother here, so before and after. So this to me is a pretty big improvement update. You can even notice it in the trees, the palm trees up there at the top of the image. And if you're looking for something that's quick and easy, this might be the way to go. If you don't believe me, here is a zoomed in before, and here is the zoomed in after. Before and after, and to me this is a massive difference. Now things don't just end there, Xenia also got some more improvements that can also really help out graphical performance. They got non-square resolution scaling, variable refresh rate support, which really helps out latency, and high DPI monitor support. Here's a quick peek at what some of these effects can do. Pay close attention to the trees in the background as well as the detail in the gun. This is before and this is after. You can see here there's quite a bit more detail. Now if you have Xenia up and running to access these settings, all you have to do is press F6 or you can click on display here and click post processing settings. From here you have the option to enable normal or extreme anti-aliasing and if we go down to resampling and sharpening we can choose CAS or FSR and we can also tweak it to our heart's content. And dithering is enabled by default here. You can turn it off if you want, but I'd probably just leave it on. Now moving on here to Dolphin MMJR2. We've covered this in previous videos, but there was just an update less than 24 hours ago at the time of this video. And this update here may or may not break things if you're running Android 12. There have been reports here if you're running Android 12 that this version 2.0-15966 doesn't necessarily work the best. This version of Dolphin MMJR2 has been updated with the main source code from Dolphin. Uh, but if you are running Android 12 here, you might want to stick with the previous version, which is version 15110. Fortunately here, 15110 does have those Dolphin improvements baked in as well as 15109. So it's really up to you here. If you don't have Android 12, then you're probably good with picking up the latest version. Now moving on to MAME here, your favorite multi-arcade machine emulator, and they are alive and well. In fact, they just got an update to version 0.240. They have been around for almost 25 years. As of February 5th here, their birthday, they're 25 years old, which is insane. This latest update here brings a whole bunch of compatibility. If you are really into MAME, I'll leave a link to these changes in the description below and I recommend combing them over because there is a ton of information here. But to keep things at a really high level, basically they've introduced a bunch of bug fixes, some new working machines like Falco Endura, Mahjong, Mattel Look Alive Football, uh, Player's Edge Plus, Scat the Solution, and Svetlana Electronica. I almost messed that last one up. Uh, new working clones, they've added a bunch here. I'm not going to go through this entire list because there's a bunch of stuff here. And if I scroll down even further, they, well, they've got some stuff listed as not working, but uh, new working software list additions. So we have some 32X stuff. 
uh, some Apple II stuff, some C64 stuff, CDI, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. There is quite a bit to go over here. If you are into MAME, as I've said, check out this list. Now, if you don't really want to read a whole lot here and just want to experience it, well, version 0.240 is up and alive on their website. Feel free to pick it up and enjoy. And last up here, this is more of a bonus than anything. I get asked a ton why I like to emulate video games. This video here, I wouldn't say sums up everything, but sums up things pretty good. It's Zelda Breath of the Wild running on CMU for Wii U here at 8K. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and I recommend checking it out. Another reason here is a video with 1.8 million views called Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's why I play on PC. And that might give you a bit more insight as to why I love emulation. There's a bunch more reasons why I love to emulate, but we're not gonna cover them in this video. We're gonna keep this as always short, sweet, and to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. Your thoughts about the improvements for Xenia. Your thoughts about Citra, Citra, Dolphin MMJR2 on Android. Uh, if you're using it on Android 12, have you run into that issue? And also let me know your thoughts about MAME. Do you use it? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.